The 90 Day Fiancé franchise has featured many villains since it first aired in 2014, but many fans believe they are wrecking the viewer experience. With over 16 spin-offs, there's no shortage of tumultuous relationships and franchise villains for followers to indulge in. However, some villains have gone too far, earning a terrible reputation in the TLZ show. Every season usually has at least one villain. For instance, 90 Day Fiancé's Emily Bieber and Bilal Hazias were already awarded the villain titles for season 9, before viewers saw what they were truly capable of. The villains often rub the viewers the wrong way, but since the relationships are generally train wrecks that fans can't turn away from, they often endure the cringeworthy moments. Dot, however, some stars, like Angela Deem or Big Ed Brown, not only make viewers uncomfortable, but also create a terrible impression of the franchise. Angela is well known for her forceful personality, selfish tendencies, and borderline abusive treatment of others. Despite her behavioral concerns, she's remained in the franchise, and viewers can't help but note a similar tendencies among other villains in the show. 90 Day Fiancé stars who are selfish. Relationships are supposed to be give and take, but some co stars didn't seem to get the memo. While some of them, like 90 Day Fiancé's Big Ed, showered their partners with gifts and wouldn't hesitate to visit them, the end goal was still to benefit him, such as when he gifted Rosemary Vega a toothbrush and lingerie. In other cases, the selfishness was more evident. For example, Angela Dean was more than aware of Michael Ilesenmi's desire for children and even promised to look into IVF. However, she chose to spend the money on plastic and weight loss surgery instead, which Michael was less than excited about. For a show about loving relationships, highlighting selfish qualities doesn't provide a positive outlook. Narcissistic 90 Day Fiancé Celebs. Many of the 90 Day Fiancé franchise co stars, like Big Ed, are often labeled as narcissistic. Aside from his tattoo of himself, his merchandise, and his undying love for himself, 90 Day Fiancé's Liz Woods claimed Big Ed was narcissistic too. He enjoyed exploiting her insecurities and gaslighting her, which creates a bad name for the relationships in the franchise. Angela Deem and Mike Burke is borderline abusive. While narcissism and other behavioral concerns can suggest the relationship is abusive or at least toxic, some co stars took it a step further. The way Mike Burke spoke to Zamina Morales during their breakup caused viewers to grow concerned for her, her family, and their well being. The same goes for Angela and Michael. At one point, her behavior mentally, emotionally, and physically concerned viewers significantly enough that they wanted 90 Day Fiancé's Angela removed from the franchise. Emphasizing abusive qualities in a relationship is no way to promote a franchise. With many villains exhibiting poor behavior on TV, it's difficult to set a positive example for relationships. Additionally, it gives the franchise a bad rep for underlining the poor qualities in their co-stars. However, this appears to be the norm within the franchise, but many 90 Day Fiancé fans are hoping for more positive relationships in the future.